Hey guys, back over here at Better Than Yesterday where we did our last video tour. Um, so just wanted to let you say hi to Carly and let her say hi to you guys. Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm actually heading over to Zev Green's gym, CrossFit 184, here to do a tour over there. Apparently there's a lot of these gyms around here in town, so I figure we might as well show you guys what's going on. But yep, just want to let uh, Carly say hi and let's head on over. Tell Zev I said hi. guys just got here to CrossFit 184. Come on in and take a look with me. So the uh, one of the best uh, best things about our new new place we didn't have our other places whole lobby area it gives people a chance to kind of hang out between classes kind of like we were talking about before about building that theme that community it's not just about the workout people come in here and do their work grab a cup of coffee watch some TV that kind of thing um, every new member as they come in we get their name their picture up on the board just so they feel welcome welcome to the place and the uh, Bible verse we have on the wall is kind of my, uh, my verse for my life, something that I need to try to remember my day-to-day -day life, we try to instill in our members as well, that we're put on this earth to serve one another through love, and uh, through serving one another, we're serving God overall. Auxiliary gym area, um, another space we didn't have in our old gym, but it gives us an opportunity to work with clients kind of one-on-one -on -one that might not be ready for the, the group CrossFit class. So any new member that come in, they get some one-on-ones with the coach, kind of learn the basics of what we do. We also do team classes in here, CrossFit kids, um, CrossFit pre preteens, and also boot camp classes in here as well. Nice. <laughs> So this is our big CrossFit for our main gym, and uh, design-wise, we did a couple of things that we really like. Splitting the rig off of the walls kind of keeps the class in order and all organized. The strips of wood down the uh, down either side keeps everyone lined up, so that it's not chaos. Everyone's not just scattered. It's really easy for the coaches to see different people down the line, coach every single one down the line instead of looking all over the place finding the next person. Up top, we got a uh, a loft area. We keep all of the athlete cubbies and lockers that kind of stuff up top kind of out of the way and they also hang out there in between classes if they got keep shoes there keep clothes there all that kind of stuff so all of our equipment stored underneath and uh, another thing we ran into our old place is all of our equipment was on the floor so now it makes much more floor space to actually work out in and not just set boxes here barbells here that kind of stuff now that the floor is all open just more space to move safely for one and also fit more people in the class so other than like kettlebells and the medicine balls is most of it like your body weight and just body movement? weight and barbells so across it we we combine three different elements metabolic conditioning which is like your running your jump rope your rowing your biking um strength work so your kettlebells barbells that kind of stuff and then gymnastics so like pull-ups sit-ups anything body weight is what we consider gymnastics all right, guys. Well, Zev had to get into class to start teaching, and uh, I got to get back to work. So, I just wanted to say thanks for sticking with us and taking a tour of their new gym. Kind of forgot to say that's kind of why I was here. I also wanted to say keep up the good stuff, Marysville. There's a lot of stuff happening right now with the warm weather coming out. I've seen a lot more activity out and about, and it's just great to see everybody's spirits live and back up. Um, but remember, this town is what you make it. Uh, I want to help you find the house that you love, um, but more importantly, help you create your own experience here in Marysville to live a fuller life. Uh, so if there's any way I can help you do that, let me know. Until next time, take care.